there aren't very many big pieces of land left. And at 120 acres, that's a fairly good sized piece of land. And if you sell it to someone, you know, the option that they break it up and put in a trailer park, turn it into a gravel pit, um, just put plant houses all over it didn't really appeal to me because it's really beautiful it's really quiet and peaceful there's lots of animals I just thought that it deserved to stay wild on the property we're just northeast uh, of the town of Baldwin um, and this is a hundred uh, Darcy owns 120 acres uh, 115 of that are within the conservation easement Protecting the property back in 2009, this was a priority for us um, because uh, Darcy was interested in doing this, number one. Uh, number two, the resources on the coal creeks. Um, there's a, there's uh, plenty of feet of frontage on the coal creek, so you're protecting the uplands as well as the wetlands surrounding the creeks, uh, which protects the water quality. Um, and it dumps into the Baldwin River just downstream. And, you know, on coming here, there was nothing here. Um, in the 20s, well, early 20s, there were still Indians, and Grandpa would let the Indians come in and sleep on the back porch in the winter. So, you know, there's that kind of history here, too. Everything here is cleared by him, plus another 40. And it was actually bigger than what you see here because the corners were very square. He did a really nice job. Um, over time, nature takes over you know and so the the trees have moved in on the corners that are too wet to actually farm and he had ditches also and i don't have as good of a ditch system and i'm sure he had to have dug them by hand grandpa seemed pretty progressive because he built a giant barn and if you come here with nothing and you build a giant barn and a house and all eight of your kids live, well they had three children that died but there were and then there were eight that grew up you have to be pretty successful There's some rare species that use the property. Uh, Darcy has uh, seen pine marten out on the property. Uh, black bear uh, uses the property. The house deer is a year old, and mommy has now had two fawns. And of course, the yearling can't stay. So she throws the yearling out every morning, and it comes here and it lives at the house. And then um, at night it comes back around and it will pick up the baby and take it home with her so that it has a place to sleep in the morning, she throws it out again. It's really quiet. You can see forever, because once the hay is cut, you can really see a long ways. There's still a lot of deer and assorted animals. But it's quiet. You have to like where you're at.